Mark Sobus, and I'm getting warmed up for the Get Off Our Lawn podcast with Dave and Dave. <laughs> Thank you so much, Chief Master Sergeant Mark Sobus, uh, Thompson Blue, 1994, I want to say 1998, but don't quote me on that. One hell of a bass player, Chief, retired Chief Master Sergeant of the Air Force, Air Force Thompson Blue, who's also a maintenance guy on the F-16. Uh, thank you so much for that great intro. <laughs> Folks, welcome to the Get Off Our Lawn Show. My name is Dave Jackson down here in my little cave of men down here in Western PA. Down there in North Carolina, we have the guy that invented the scratch and sniff. The bearded dragon himself, Mr. Dave Seymour. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing okay, Dave. Thanks for the uh, the sniffing part. Hey, I, it's all about intros, man. And we have with us, continuing our theme of the folks from class of 1980 from Dried, New York, Pam O'Dell, folks. Thank you, dear, for coming down here in our little basement and in his room and your room and hanging out with us. And playing along. You got yeah. Thanks for inviting me. Very cool. So... How many of our shows have you watched so far? It's a trick uh, question. All of them. Uh, none of them in completion. Oh, but you uh, see. But it. if. But I. Have, I know you I started, started to get bored. Yeah. Well, Dave S gave it to me, and so I did look at a few of them. Yeah. Um, you really haven't interviewed too many of us. You need to interview a few more. How many have we done, Dave? Uh, we're up to like we're like eighteen or nineteen now. We got. We oh, got, I got we like got two that. seasons. Yeah, two full seasons. Well, we'll shoot out the links again, but there's two, uh, two, two seasons of Earth. Yeah. So, so we, do you ever nom I nominate somebody? Sure, sure. We'd love to have. Who? I nominate John Draghi. Okay. Oh, okay. Fair enough. No. Yeah. yeah. We no. will reach out to John. I'm I'm scooping what you're dumping there. I'm picking up what you're laying down. Yeah. I'm with <laughs> yep. you. All right. All right. So, Pam, I'm sure you know the drill. We're going to start off with, uh, you just need to fill us in, fill the folks in that are watching. Um, so when we left, uh, you know, the day we graduated, we took the diploma in our hands in the football field and we left. What happened to Pam O'Dell up to now? And you can just tell us what happened with Pam. Catch us up. All right. I won't remember a whole lot. Like right after um, we graduated, everybody went to a party. Perhaps that night, and I don't think I did. Okay. That's fair enough. Unless Some did, some did not. All right. And so. I don't remember why I didn't, but I don't remember going. Okay. It's all good. Um, fair. But there, there was a series from after that I've worked. I've always worked since I was able to drive. Uh -huh. um, that's probably why I'm not in sports and stuff in the – in the yearbooks past a certain age, because once I could drive, that's all it took. I was just like gone. Okay. So I worked a lot, many jobs, um, got kind of married job? at a fairly. What kind of job? Go ahead. Yeah. What what kind kind of job? Oh, you, you don't really want to know all of them. Um, administratively accounting. I went to TC3 uh, okay. for accounting and for finance and all that kind of stuff. So just a generic, mm -hmm. you know, anybody would take me kind of job. Okay. Um, had some great ones, worked for the city of Ithaca attorney, worked for CPAs, uh, worked for a water treatment plant. So, okay. I mean, I had interesting jobs, very interesting mm -hmm. jobs. But the best one was Cornell. 
Okay. So how, I, soon I was after a, graduated, a, how soon after you graduated until you got to Cornell? Um, let's see, 1989. Okay. Well, now, I, now I'm going to do math. So I... Uh, Didn't you work for a CPA? I don't know. I did. I worked for Ken Poole. Um, I did, but you know, there were already there were numbers on a pad, and I just had to add them up. I didn't have to do math in my head. So, what we, year are we in now? Twenty twenty three. Well, let's just minus, ask this. Let's just ask this. How many years? Did, how many years do you have with them so I, far? Nineteen ninety nine is when I went to Cornell. I got it because I just retired, and I'd been there for twenty four years. So, there's the math for you. There you go. 24. So what did you, what did you do between 90 and 99? More a odd lot jobs. of things. A lot of odd jobs. A lot of odd jobs, probably two or three years at a time. Uh, okay. Had been married, um, married and divorced, had uh -huh. a daughter and all that kind of So I was a little busy. Okay. Uh, stayed in the area for the most part. I, I briefly went down to South Carolina to join Eileen and Carly Edmonds. Really? Uh, but that was, yeah. What year was that? That was, oh, I got to do math again. Damn it. Okay, so my daughter is going to be 31. So 31 years ago because I was pregnant and I came back oh, and wow. I, I had my ear. I had that would have been 90, 92 or 93? That's the year she was born, 1992. That's exactly right. Yes. That was the same year as my son was born. So huh? perfect. 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 The world is yeah. aligned. Yes. Yeah. So I really just stayed around here. Okay. Um, I like it. I moved too much as a kid. Yeah. Uh, when I was a kid, 17 times before I was 11 years old. Holy crap. Wow. Was that uh, military related or was your father? Or, or how, why, why move so much? I wish it were military related because that would explain a lot of things, but okay. it wasn't. It was just um unstable family situation. Okay. It bounced around quite a mm -hmm. bit. Um so Aetna yep. is where I landed oh, uh, from Cortland when my mother remarried, and that's when I came to Dryden is halfway through our seventh grade. And so I've just stuck around ever since. So you were in the what school system were you in before you got to Dryden? Portland. Portland. How did that work out for you? I loved it because I was eleven, right? I, I mean, I was eleven or twelve, and I could roam the streets and I could do whatever I wanted to. Ah. It was fun. You step short. Life was fun in the seventies oh, when you were a kid. I, yeah. I mean, right. we did whatever we wanted to do as long as we wanted to. Do. Right. My yeah. parents didn't know who I was. They didn't. Right. They yeah. didn't care. Well, you know, it was it was more like come home when the street lights come on, right, or whatever it was, right. You know, don't stay yeah. out all night, but come on home. Yeah, yeah. So I was devastated when I left Cortland and moved to Etna. Well, there's not okay. as many streets to walk around. There aren't, and there aren't any. There's no street lights either. I mean, you've you've <laughs> got to carry a flashlight across <laughs> backyard. I mean, yes. there's, there's, there's no love. So she was kind of but, down the street from you, Dave. She was, because I was in Freeville. Yeah. I asked Dave, I wish I was from Freeville. The metropolis there. But, which is where I am now, though. This is, this is where I am now is in Freeville. Uh -huh. But we'll get to where I, we'll get to my Freeville experience. I just have to tell you one thing is that Nancy Brashear and I became friends because of Aetna. So the good news is. Nancy Brashear and I were really, really good friends and had a ball. She was the furthest in Aetna. Cheryl Van Zyl mm -hmm. was uh, Hanshaw Road and Aetna Road. Yep. Yeah. And Nancy Brashear, just a few houses down, and we were the best of buds. So there were some very good things that came out of living in Aetna after yep. I got over the trauma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some life friends. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. You and Nancy still keep in touch? <laughs> Not so much, um, because she's very busy. She's got five girls. She lives in um, a Vir Virginia or uh, Carolina. She's I can't remember North exactly. Church. She's about an hour. Well, yeah, forty-five minutes to an hour, just north of Raleigh. Oh. Okay. 
okay. All right. And she's been there quite a while. Mm -hmm. um, she did one of our reunions, I would say, uh, the one that was before COVID. I wonder if it was one or two before that. It wasn't the one where we went to the place past Greek Peak. It wasn't that place. It wasn't that one. Gatherings? I got nothing. Yeah, I, only went, wasn't... I only went to the fifth. I didn't go to any of those. Really? Really. Really? Yeah. Okay. What's up with that? Dave went to a couple. Yeah, I went. I did. But I remember you came home to visit David Seymour, and we went to um, Applebee's. I was there. Us. Well, All the yes. was Applebee's and yes. 2010, there was the Max they Reunion down. Okay. Okay. What was that place called? Was it? It wasn't the Haunt, the right? Haunt. Was it the Haunt? That's right. Yes, I remember that too. Yes, ran into there. Had a very pleasant talk with you there. Yes, and somebody gave me a ride home I, that because was, I lived. That was me and uh, Doug McCartney. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Doug McCartney. Yeah. Yeah, because you when you walked into Applebee's, I was already there. You walked out, you looked up at me, you're like, "Who the shit is this guy?" <laughs> it was quite hilarious. You never, had the, you never had the curls, Dave. I didn't have the curls. I know it was long, long hair. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> so uh, we got eight minutes. Okay, on this list. Okay, I'm just keeping track of time. Sorry. Yep. Um, so Dave and I, we have this list of questions. We like to we like to ask people. Well, let's, oh, let's finish a few oh. things before we go. Yeah. So, uh, tell us about your daughter. Oh yeah. Oh my daughter. So my daughter is the is an entrepreneur. She's a fabulous person. Um, she's my only child. Mm -hmm. Um, she is a real estate broker and a small business owner. She owns Dryden Apartment Company and Realty in Dryden. Ooh. Uh, her her father and her husband. Uh huh. She's got properties she just bought the uh four corner the building on the four corners of dryden where the brooklyn diner used to be oh really mm -hmm. yeah. yeah yeah so she she bought the whole building her and her father and her husband and she put in a coffee shop that's called the corner brew the corner brew i got some coffee there yeah. last month you did yes i did you had coffee there last month i would have been there you weren't there I was there. You just didn't know. I didn't. I, I didn't scan the room enough. <laughs> now she's just but, grinding your beans, Dave. Yes. <laughs> I, I saw um, Dave Jackson at Pat Edmonds's funeral service. Yep. Yep. Too, so. yep. yep. But uh, long story short, I retired from Cornell and I'm her bookkeeper. So that's probably why you didn't see me because she tucks me in a back room somewhere. Oh, so could be. Yeah. Everybody kept so, saying, if you want a good cup of coffee, go there. So I went there. Yeah, it's a great little place. It's yeah, a great nice. little place. Yep. Is it doing so She's okay? married and has two kids. She's doing fabulous. Um, she married a Clark from Clark's Grocery Store. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Which one? Yeah. Where's uh, Clark? Mike. Mike, oh. his son. Yeah. His son. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. 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 You, didn't, right. you didn't work at Clark's when you were a kid, did you? Everybody else did. I didn't. No, I Everybody didn't did. I went to Ithaca. Yeah, you know, being in Etna, you yeah. know, you're a little to Ithaca, so your opportunities were different. Did you work the mall? Where did you work in Ithaca? Oh, I worked at uh, Friendly's across from the mall. Oh, really? uh, and then I worked. Yeah, that's a big huh? place. That's a big place. Uh, but uh, there's a guy, I'm going to forget his name. We went to um, Driver's Ed together. Kenny, Kenny, Kenny McIntyre, Kenny. There was McIntyre. Kenny, Kenny Lombard. Kenny McIntyre. Yeah. Kenny Lombard. Yeah. And then Ken, Kenny McIntyre. Thank you. Um, I worked at a place called Hungry Herman's, which was a burger joint at the mall for a little while. And Kenny would give me a ride. There you go. I, but I that always, was it at the mall. I always enjoyed the fribble at that Friendly's. Yeah. Friendly's was a good little place. It was yeah. great. The fribble yeah. milkshake was awesome. That's right. We go there for a fishing rig, right? Yep. I like fishing. I mean, I make good money at, at at a restaurant. You always do when you're yep in high school and uh -huh. that. So yeah, 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 yeah. So daughters, but, but how old are your grandkids now? Uh, 
Wyatt is four and a half, and uh, Warren is two and a half. Two young Wyatt men. Warren. How how is yeah. grandparenting going? It's wonderful. It's wonderful. Well, I, I love being a mother, and I love being a grandmother. So it's all very very easy to me. Mm -hmm. It's I, I no no problem with it at all. Boys are a little different than girls, but um, <laughs> just energy energy level wise, you know, and getting into things is a little yeah, different yeah. than mm -hmm. than a girl is. But when we talk about Freeville, before we go on to your list of questions, I live in the Castle House. So this this is a rental because I sold my house. I bought the Baki House on Cook Street. Right. I knew you were living in, in Phil's old place or Phil, the Baki's old place. Yep. Yep. And then when Kayla went to college, it was really tough for me to do by myself. Um, yep. any, any house for a single income. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I've been working ever since. And this house was Kim Vos's. Sister's house, brown flat fronted house across from the heirs. Yeah, yeah. And heirs on yeah. Me, right? Yeah. Right? And it burned to the ground about 10, 15 years ago. So this and is this the castle. Cement, this is the cement building there that, that sort of looks yeah. architecture yes. castle-y. It does look castle-y. Now, did you buy it or yep. you rented it? No, didn't buy it. Would not buy it. Um, okay. I'm renting it and I'm out back. So I face um Groton, Groton and the swamp yeah yeah so so the dans are behind me the, the dans are to one side of me remember steve mm -hmm. and jeff dans yeah and so right behind me is the swamp so i'm out back okay yeah so i'm still in freeville okay yeah we used to yep. play little league baseball down at the end of that street correct correct right Yep, and they still do play baseball down to the end of that street. There you go. Aww. I can't even That's remember nice. what that street name was. What, what's that street? Rotten. Rotten Ave. Okay. Rotten Ave. All right. And that was also the corner where the world famous barbecue chicken uh, still fundraiser, whatever it is, was held every year, right? Was that the fire department I, put that on? It's the church. If nobody the church. ever knew that. If you were to answer whose barbecue that is, everybody says the fire hall. It's the church. It's the church. Yep. There you go. They do that. Did they do that Cornell chicken recipe thing? Is that what they did? The. Uh, I think they did. Yeah. yeah. Good stuff. And I, I do the barbecues with them. Oh, cool! Nice. There you go. Yeah. Let's see. So, um, how's Freeville life for you? Having Freeville's work. great. Yeah. I mean, it's small. Everybody knows what you're doing. Yep. Um, I like being out back because they don't really know what I'm doing. Um, <laughs> we ran around. All towns are one. Yeah. yeah. Um, but and my mother lives in the front. So this is a multiple building, a multiple yep. apartment. Yep. And my mother is um, not able to take care of herself completely. Mm -hmm. And she's shutting. So she took an apartment in the front. So Milan, the tile guy who built this, uh, has three apartments. So mom's in the front, I'm in the back, and then there's another gentleman also in the front. But I have to kind of hang here till mom's, you know, desk is yeah, foretold. Yeah. This is your mom? My mom. Okay. All right. Yeah, my mom is up yeah. in Rochester and in care. Oh, she is? So your parents don't live? Was it she live on Cheryl? Uh, it was Kirby Road, um, and Kirby. we're gonna we're gonna run out of a meeting here in a minute. But um, yeah, mom went up to assisted living in Rochester. Dad passed away a couple years ago. Okay, I'm sorry. No, it, it, it was time. All right. right. Right now, we just have a uh, disembodied voice. There you are. There we go. Oh, geez, there's the body with the voice. There's the body and the voice. Thank you. And I swear, I apologize. That's the Italian Irish in me. Just. Crap just flows right out of my mouth. No, no, no. That's what we like. That's what makes these interesting. <laughs> no, no regrets but, till later. <laughs> All right. So anyway, did I catch you up well enough then with my little yes. I haven't left Freeville? I, I yep. think I think we've been all freevilled out, yes. Well, you didn't grow up there, Dave. I know. I just I know. A lot of I can't be part of the conversation because I wasn't there, except when I was at your house or Wayne Dunham's house. So exactly. So yeah. Right. 
And and I didn't know that Dave Jackson lived behind the Edmondses. Yes. They are my right. earliest, they are my earliest memories. And fine memories to have, Dave. They are. Yeah. They were fine memories to have. Everybody went to the Edmonds' house. Everybody. I Everybody. Nancy Brashear and I sold a car so that yeah. we could go to Dryden. Wow. All right. Mm -hmm. Duly you know? noted. Yeah. <laughs> Duly we noted. gave it back, but we stole it to get <laughs> out of Edmonds. Yeah, th those those two kiddos and I go, I mean, you know. Yeah. I would holler yeah. across the yard, twins, and they'd holler there, Dave. That means it was time to play. That's a riot. And then we got then we got up to the then we got up to school on the hill and the clicks went separate ways. They, <laughs> After that. Isn't that well, we funny? still stayed friends. We still stayed friends, but she had her they had their pool of friends and I had my pool of friends once we got up once we got up to the high school. I mean and the pools sure. never Mixed. Yeah, they never right. merged. Yeah. So, yeah, and they so, but they never do. No, nobody in nobody's world, they never do. Yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're not fun. You're right. So since we're on that segue about yep. friends, yeah. I'm very curious. I, I was trying to think about this today, and I was kind of spinning in my head. Who was your core besides Nancy? Who was your core group of friends in high school? Uh, it would probably have been Eileen and Carlene, uh, okay. Nancy, um. I hung out with, you know, Denise Hamilton and Brenda Marie a little bit, depending on how much they were like at Eileen's and Carlene's house. Mm -hmm. um, Glenn Cotterill was my buddy. He was three doors down from me, Glenn Cotterill. Oh, oh okay. A um, little bit of West Dryden folks. Um, some of them were a little older than us, like Kurt Vanderbilt. You know, we had we had some older folks that lived out in Etna that were maybe a year or two yep. uh, older than us, ride the bus, you know, so... Um, they were in Etna. Uh -huh. They were close by. You know, they were, they you could do a snowmobile or you know anything to get there. Right. Fast. Um. Did you ride snowmobiles in Etna? Oh heck yeah! I would ride anything. Yeah. Yeah, and any motorized, I'd get on. I didn't mini bike. Didn't matter what it was. Yeah, I wouldn't yeah. care. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yep. So, but I was, I'd be friends with anybody, but you are who you hang out with close to home, you know, until you drive and you work and all that kind of stuff. You're, right. you're, your neighbors are your best. Your world is this big. That's yeah, true. it yeah. is. Dave, it is. do you have her? I don't, I, I know I said to you, do you, I'm curious, do you remember your prophecy, Pam, from the high school yearbook? Oh, God. Yeah, I mean, Hang on one second. Don't, don't, yeah, don't put it up yet, Dave. Let's see. If she, uh, let's let her struggle a little bit. Shit, you know, I never meant to say anything that anybody would ever repeat later. You know, I mean, you put it in a book, Pam. <laughs> that that was distributed to about two hundred kids. <laughs> are we? In the, are we in the arboretum now? Where are we at now? Where are we at? Where are we, where are we at? I um, see a hand You talking to me? Yeah, yeah, we're talking to you. Me or him? <laughs> I yeah. had to plug us in because oh, okay. my phone. Oh, okay. Makes sense. It was beeping at you. It it is... So are you looking up something in the book? He, he's, he's fixing Since you don't know what it is, bring it up. Go ahead and bring it up, Dave. All right. Hang on a second. How uh, embarrassing. I probably said something really stupid. Uh, let's see. Like I was going to here. Here it is. Zoop. Da doop. It is yeah. happy to be at Cobleskill and driving a motorcycle. Yeah. Which uh, neither of it. them I did. No, <laughs> neither. None. Really? No. no. <laughs> yeah. Cobleskill was because John Ensign was there and we were dating and he had a motorcycle. That was really the whole reason. I okay. see. Yeah. You would have been commuting. And, and I, I would go there, but not in a motorcycle. And I never went to college there. Gotcha. So that was not, I did not think that one through. Apparently. <laughs> Go ahead, Dave, bring up, bring up a senior picture real quick. Let me ask you one more question. Uh -oh. So uh, okay. what year did you start in at TC3? Did you start in 81 or did you delay a few years? No, did not delay right, right away. Yeah. Okay. Right away. <clears throat> All right. <laughs> didn't she start and right I ended up working with you. Didn't you start right away too, Dave? I did. One? Yep. So you, guys, you guys are like TC3 pool pals or something. We should have been. We are. Right. 
Hanging out in the and I still lived court. at home. I lived at home. Actually, oh, there I am. Did you I have my braces? My brace are my braces off? Yes, your I, I braces are off. off. I see no braces. No braces. Oh, okay. All right. So, or if, or if they are, they're they're Invisaligns. So you wrote well, stuff they, into my you wrote stuff into my yearbook, Pam. I did. You ready? Yeah. Hang on, Matt. let's go back there for Matt. Yeah, hang on. Yeah, bring right, okay. I was nice. All if right. I'm not nice, we're bleeping this part out, right? It's yeah, totally yeah. fine. It's totally fine. Relax. Calm down. Okay. Dear Dave. This is very this is very standard right your book writing here. Dave, I'm sure that this year has been a big gasser for you too. Dot dot dot. Hopefully <laughs> we'll never have to experience something this boring ever again. Take care and have a good life. See you, Pam O'Dell. Please Are you sure that, that okay? <laughs> Oh, yeah, that's what you wrote under your under your picture, under Rick Page and Randy Polanco. <laughs> oh, I really meant the gasser for Rick Page. Gasser. Just kidding. Just, yeah. just okay. kidding. <laughs> wow. Well, I mean, you know, at least oh, I said something. You did say something. It was very nice. You didn't like put "Have a good summer, see ya." You know, it was you, you, right. wrote, you wrote some nice stuff out. It was very nice. Thank you. Isn't it funny the emphasis that people put on what they signed in your book? If we would have only known that some things would, you know, come back to haunt us, I would have been a little, I don't know, more in depth, something. I don't know. Yeah. Or the things you completely overlook in your yearbook comments, right? It's like, oh, yeah. I missed that that little cue there. So, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I've been reading my... So. You've been... So, have you been, have you been reminiscing... Wait, so you go first. No, go ahead, Dave. You go first, Dave. Go I said, you, you said you'd been reading. I was wondering if you had been reminiscing through your yearbook. Yeah. Okay. I oh. did, yes. Because in case you asked me some trivia question or something I couldn't answer, yeah, yeah. you know, that I, I needed to study just a little bit, <laughs> which is not something I'm used to doing. And so, I yes, I, I, you know, perused our yearbook, read a lot of things that people said to me. There you go. Did did one of those comments yes. stick out? Um, was there a memorable one? I'm, or you're oh, not at liberty to say. I'm not repeat some of those here. No, <laughs> no, <right>. probably not. <laughs> I was no, hoping for a good one, right? No. They usually mentioning things that were illegal at the time, and they usually mention things that were boy related, and so I'm just not not going to go there. It's not going to go there. All right. You know, you know we're you know it's 40 years later, right, Pam? You know, you know we're like, know. in 61, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, they're not going to retroactively arrest you. Oh come on, Dan. No. What's the statute of limitations? Yeah, I mean. You know, I made out with blah 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 dry lake. Okay. Right. <laughs> I know what that right. Is. <laughs> and you know, on the Dave Jackson page, I don't see where he wrote any oh wait. Maybe you did. Maybe you did. What did Dave write? If you can glean that, but, I'd be impressed. But probably not because I, I'm looking under Dave Hahn. Dave Hahn. Yeah, I Dave Hahn. Yeah. yeah. So I'm assuming because it says A F A A friend always Dave, unless you did A front slash F front slash A. That was Is that not your me. That was not and me. I, Dave Hahn. So I don't believe Dave Jackson wrote anything in 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 my yearbook. So which, mean, which means you didn't present it to me to write in, even though I presented Is mine that, to you. Oh. oh, there could be a there, signature yeah. somewhere else. Because some be. people have written lots on the cover pages, or the back pages, or <laughs> or or hidden in the ads yes. in the back, right? Yeah, that's so, true. So it's not like it didn't happen. Yeah, I, I will go further then and and just confirm that. But well, you can. What you, would you said? What would you had said, Dave Jackson? Oh, that's a I, that's a that's a legitimate question. I don't know. I do not know. I do not know what I would have said to Pam Odell. How many okay. words do you think we spoke to each other in high school? Five? Eight? We were, you were a little shy. Um, Is that true? <laughs> no. 
That was always my Dave. <laughs> you guys were smart. You guys were really smart. You were the smart bunch. And I don't think you necessarily talked to short, not as smart girls like myself. Wow. This is a revelation here, kiddo. This is breaking news. <laughs> that would have been a deficiency on our part. Because I, so, I so I was gonna say I remember you having the biggest smile. All Steve, the time. you and you me were, or him? No, you. Not you. You had the biggest smile. You were always like happening. Well, thank you. That's the, see. Thank that's you. exactly what I remember. You were very happy. Uh, mm -hmm. If there was an interaction, it wasn't anything rude or or right. putting right. you down or anything always like that. Nothing pleasant. like that. Never, yeah. never. As a matter sarcastic. of fact, full disclosure, when Dave and I were talking about getting you on this podcast, we were talking about how wonderful you were in high school. Thank you so much. Well, thank you. I liked everybody and I liked life. And so why not? I mean, I was pretty easy to get along with. Yep. Which yeah. which, begs, and, which begs the question, uh -huh. did you get in trouble in high school? Oh, hell yeah. Really? All the time. Oh, all the time. Give me the short I, version of what you got in trouble for. Uh, I got, well, maybe I never really got caught that much, um, mm -hmm. but I left school all the time. I'd forge, forge my mother's name to leave school all the time. Um, <laughs> there, there was one time Nancy Brashear and I went to smoke a joint. Okay, so I can say that right. And we went down to the lower parking lot yep. and we jumped in any car that was open. We didn't care. It was and I think it was Carl Morris's and he came out <laughs> while we were in his car and we were like, e what can we do for you, Carl? You know, and we, and he was so astonished that two underclassmen were in his car smoking, <laughs> but we, we needed an Avenue, we needed a place to go. Uh, Nancy great. got in trouble. Nancy and I schemed up with uh, John Capilongo, Juan yeah. John. Yeah, yeah. Because he used to pick on Nancy a lot. I think he kind of liked her. So he, she had enough of his crap. So uh -huh. she put Nair on his head. So she, when she got on the bus, she grabbed him in a headlock and she poured Nair on that big, blonde, beautiful head of his and rubbed it all in and by the time he got to school and and washed it out his hair fell out oh are you <laughs> shitting me uh, we schemed that one up ourselves because she was so mad at him she'd had enough of him but he was a guy and so what are you going to do so she got him where it hurt and that was his hair wow that's a great story she, she got in trouble at school she <laughs> got in trouble at school but anyway so, so you, you, you never had detention or anything like that? Um, did I have detention? Probably, but I don't really remember detention. As such. As such. Mm -hmm. That yeah. guy right there was like the king of detentions. I had more detentions than I knew what to do with. I was in there all the time. Really? For what reason? Uh, I would say 80% of them were biology or physical sciences uh, from Mrs. Lieberman. Because I, I, well, really, you... I really enjoyed Mrs. Lieberman's class, but I screwed around in there all the time. Dave was a bit of a prankster. I believe, I, see. I believe they would have called it a disruptive influence. <laughs> or that. Oh, I like that. You're a disruptive influence. I like that better. That's cool. Oh my gosh, that's cool. We could do a whole podcast well, on that. We we could do it. Yeah, you know, we should do a, the best of detention. <laughs> yeah, that's great. That would be fun. Yeah. I probably wasn't in detention a lot because I I I like to have authority figures like me. Mm -hmm. So I would get in trouble in front of everybody. You know, I I would probably get in trouble on my own when nobody was watching and go do my own thing, but I wouldn't yeah. cause trouble, you know, publicly. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but I remember about Mr. Prue. Yeah. I, I remember Prue, people not liking him or pulling some prank or something on him. Can't remember exactly what it was. Uh, 
Well, I can tell you one time we hung his chair out the window in the wintertime off the shade cord. I thought that was Mr. Muse. Huh? I thought that was Mr. Muse. Pew. I know. That's why I thought by I I I remember Mr. Prue, but I thought you did that in Mr. Muse's class. Oh, okay. All right. Well, Mr. Muse's class, um, we we jump out the window into the snowbank. Yeah. And uh, on the second, huh? Second floor. Yeah, that that was the dare because it used to drift up to the building. Well, that's true. Um, but yeah, Mr. Prue. Uh, yeah, I mean that that was probably the worst of it. Was we hung his chair out the window. He couldn't find his chair. People didn't like him, and I don't really remember why, but people did not like him, or or else he was easy to pick on or something. Something. Yeah. Yeah. So who did you have for teachers that, that, you know, influenced you, that you really liked, that you admired, you know, that you just really Uh, had a good time with or enjoyed the class? I don't know. Yeah, admiring is a really big word. I don't remember any admiration going on. Um, But I took a business route. So I didn't uh, take regents. I kind of went the non-regents elective route. Um, So I took a lot of business courses. So Mrs. Bruno, who's Mm -hmm. still there, um, and Mr. (laughs) Adam. Who was the last Um, one? Who was the second? Mr. Allen. Okay, yep. Mr. Allen. A typing teacher. Yeah, typing teacher. Um, yep. Let's see who else did I like quite a bit. Now, Mr. Joyce was always drunk. Not Mr. There was a woman, Hayfley, Hay, Hayfley, Hayfler, Mrs. Haley, Hayfley. I'd have to look that up. Yes. But I took business courses, and I worked in the little store that we had there. The Dryden, you know, the, uh, the Lions Den. Den. Yep. 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 But, um, I mean, I liked them all, but I didn't necessarily have a favorite. Um, Norm Joyce, Mr. Joyce. I think he had vodka in his drawer. (laughs) Mary Haffler. Wasn't that? Haffler. Thank you. Haffler, Haffler. I couldn't remember. Yep. She was all business. Mrs. Gridley. Mrs. Gridley. But was was Mr. Joyce really drunk all the time, or was that just me that thought that? I never had I any. Always, it seemed to me Mr. he always had high blood pressure. Yeah. You, so you don't remember him, Dave Seymour? Oh, I did not have him for any classes. I didn't either. Oh. So I, I no you, comment. You went the Regents route. You went. You graduated Regents. I did. I went to the, uh, you know, that other route. See, that's the smart boys that didn't talk to the not-so-smart girls. Here we well, go. Here so, we go. Here so here we... was the racket. Is <laughs> that you, you could fail all year long in the Regents classes. And if you pass mm-hmm. the Regents exam, you got credit for the whole year. That doesn't make any sense, does it? No, especially when you can screw around all year long and then just buckle down for the first two weeks of June and take the Regents and get credit for the year. And so mm. that was the uh, that was the racket of that particular thing because they would you know they'd hand out uh, the uh, review books and mm. the the questions were basically the same syntax with different answers right so you you could often they re- would recycle questions they would ask them in the same way theme and variation so if you got a couple different years of a review you could cover probably 90% of the test. Wow. Wow. That's because cool. I just didn't see the purpose in it. I thought I, a high school education, and I'm going to go to a community college and get an associate's degree. What difference does it make? So I, I went the route that was easy yeah. for me to get through, yep. you know, and still get these and A's and all that. So that that's why I chose that route. And business was the only way to go. You couldn't do that in Regents. Yes. In Regents, you had, you know, languages and, and geometry and algebra and all that yeah. crap. So, anyway. The word is crap. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. I knew it wouldn't really benefit me. So, oh, Steve Trumbull was another one. I will admit that I liked Mr. Trumbull. Yep. yep. Nice guy. Yep. Do you remember him bringing Mr. in his turkey every year? His turkey? 
No. He would go, he no. was a big hunter. And so he would oh. often bring in his turkey and his shotgun to class and show. No. Oh, yeah. Oh, Pam. He, he would bring it in the morning. No. He'd, he'd put it on his big front desk there. And he's like, I shot me a turkey this morning. And so. Oh, here he is. Yep. There was as many rifles in the back of classes as there was out in the parking lot in guys' trucks. Yeah. In the, in the you know what? And we were shooting each other, though. I mean, that then that that was safe, <laughs> and, and it was fine. I mean, we weren't harming each other at that point in our lives. That is correct. They were just tools. Yeah. yeah. And they were used for hunting. They weren't used correct. on people. Correct. correct. Yeah, it was, it was outrageous. It was just outrageous if you heard somebody get shot. That was just right. It was shocking, it was right. It, it was yeah. yeah. Yep. Yep. And now it's happening in mass doses. Yeah. Different That's world, different shame. vibe. Yeah. I think it very has sad. A lot to do with Bugs Bunny not being on TV anymore. Is that what it is? That's what I'm. Thinking. I never. Because you know, Elmer Fudd and Daffy Duck, they were always shooting and hunting, and you knew it was pretend. And that's right? true. We did know it was pretend. We did. We we knew we the did. difference between pretend and real. And I, yeah. I don't think kids we did. No, that's my opinion. I'm sticking with it. I don't think so either. I like it. And I'm not exactly sure where that gap, how how come they don't know the difference? Yeah. But yeah, you're right. They well, kind of don't. We can blame it on Hollywood too, right? They've desensitized us. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Sorry, I didn't want. To, I won't go down that path. Anymore. No, that that's okay. That's, that's okay. It's, totally it's a long fine. time to go. Yep. Okay. So, well, can I ask you guys questions, or is this just a, a one way thing? No, no. Uh, you can ask us anything you want. Yeah, fire away. And so, both of you don't live here, obviously. And so how long, and you, whoever can go first, I don't really care. Um, who, who left first? And, you know, why did you choose where you live? You know, where, what brought you to where you live now? Take a and, and why right. did you leave the area? So I actually enlisted in the Air Force halfway through our senior year, right in the middle of the Iranian hostage crisis. Oh. Actually, so my wife and I both did. Well, she's already, she'd already graduated. You're an overachiever. <laughs> You're an overachiever. Well, you I, knew know I, that, don't you? I knew I was going to the military and I and I was worried. I had I, I watched my brother, Chuck, and I, I didn't want to I didn't want to follow his path. So I knew if I didn't get out of Dryden, you know, too sweet, you know, I didn't want I was just worried about that. But I knew my brother in law and my sister were in the army and I really liked that lifestyle in the whole nine yards. So I, I just I enlisted that right December away. before we graduated. Wow. And, I'm sorry, that wow. October before we graduated. And, and you deployed like the month after we graduated, right? Three days oh, after wow. three days after we graduated, I was in basic training. Yep. No I was gone. kidding. Yeah, we had You a weren't afraid? Cars. Huh? Were you afraid? Were you afraid? I I was I was excited and nervous. Um not because there was anything going on special in the world, but uh, I was leaving home. So there was that. But once I got once I got out of Texas, out of basic training, and at my first base, everything was fine. Because I, you know, I just started seeing other things and other lifestyles and other cultures. And but yeah, I left three days after we graduated school. I was gone. Wow. Wow. Yeah. Okay. Well, at least you kind of knew what you yeah, were going to do and what you. I had a plan. Do. Blanche and I had a plan well into my senior year. Wow. Yep. Okay. Well, pl plans are good. Plans yep. are good. So I'll give you the short version. I was playing in different bands that kept breaking up. And so mm. I had to go to TC3 because the band broke up in August. And mm. uh, so I had taken the ACTs or whatever because I, I wasn't going to go to college. And so okay. uh, the band broke up and I went, I said, well, I can survive through two years of school. So I went to TC3 yeah. and uh, started another band. And uh, that band broke up right before we graduated from TC3 in 82. Oh. And uh, I was like, okay. And, but I started work at a startup down in Ithaca. And they moved mm. from Ithaca to Boston. 
in 83. So I went with them uh, up to Boston because the job market in Ithaca was very limited for high tech stuff. Mm. You know, I was I I see. engineering stuff. And so I had a job and it was like, it was a easy, cheap and easy way to get out of Ithaca or Dryden, whatever you want to call it, out of the area and, right. and go somewhere, you know, Boston's a big city, you know, it, in the area it was metropolitan. I'd never done that before. Right. Right. And so uh, that offered a route to more of a career in electronics. I see. So cool. that was where it went. Yep. And you guys both got married right away, right? I mean, you guys both, both the Daves got married. Well, I got married right? in 84. I got married in 82. Yeah. And Pat, Dave well, got married that's in 82. Right away. Yep. That's pretty much right away. Yep. And so, uh, yeah, when Pam graduated school, she came up to Boston. And right after she graduated, we got married that following year. Sweet. So that Very was cool. a thing. Yep. And so, so from Boston to, you're in South Carolina or you're in North Carolina? I'm in Raleigh. You're in North Carolina. Yep. Raleigh, yeah. And so the, the company that I was working for, a couple of companies I worked for in Boston, one of them shut down and they said, well, we could relocate you to LA or we can mm. relocate you to Raleigh. I see. So out of the choices I was given at the time, and that was in 1990, and we were sort of in a slump right before, right there. So coming mm -hmm. to Rale Raleigh was a good choice. Raleigh was much more pleasant. L.A. Mm. was not pleasant. <laughs> no, no, of course not. No, no. That, that was Raleigh too much of a shock. Pleasant. Yeah. Raleigh is still pleasant, isn't it? I mean, it's a nice place to live, isn't it? It's a very nice place to live. Problem is people keep moving here, right? And right. so That's the place to go. <laughs> that's right. It's like once you hit the nice place to go list, everybody goes there. Yeah. Right. yeah. That's right. That's right. And so, you know, it's changed a lot since I've been here since 90. So, so like 30 years, right? Yep. Yep. But you've liked it. You've done the right thing, both you guys. And so you, you knew exactly what you wanted to do and you're doing it. That's, that's good. We won it. Mostly. <laughs> we won yeah. it and it worked out. A little bit. Yeah, it, it worked. It all worked out. It all worked out fine. It did. Yeah. I got no regrets. None. Yep. Good. No, no, I wouldn't do it that's a good. different way. No, I wouldn't either. No, no. Nope. Cool, that's cool. And and I wouldn't either. I mean, I've had a, maybe a little more colorful past, um, but I wouldn't. I wouldn't change anything either. I mean, it's taught me a lot, and it, you know, yeah, it is who I am today. So, and you have an awesome daughter, and awesome anything. grandkids. That's right. I you do have an awesome family. daughter. Yes, that's right. Yeah, and that and that and that's so your legacy right. right there. Right. Isn't that cool? Isn't right. that cool to think like that? I keep telling Dave, one of the best things is, it is. is having grandkids. And everybody and everybody says, I get asked this a lot in my car. You know, what's the best? Is it the best thing about being grandkids is you get to visit them, spoil them, and give them back? Yep. I that's true, but one of the coolest things for me is I get to see my DNA move on. I get to see sure. the Jackson, sure. the solder part of that part, and then just to see those combinations move on. Yeah. It's just it's just incredible yep. to me. Yes, it, it is. And I like to see the personality. So Wyatt, her uh, older one, thinks a lot, a lot yeah. like me. Yeah. And so I like to be an influence. I like to be an influence on them. Yeah. So yeah. I, I do enjoy being around them very much. Yeah, yep. they're smart little guys. Yes. So, so Dave and I, Dave had Dave gave all this, this great question. And Dave, uh -oh. you, you, you phrased it the best. All right. I'm starting to get tired. So, you know, hopefully yeah. make it be a, hopefully it's an easy question. Yeah. All right, go ahead. Well, there's two questions we sort of ask. So what advice would you give to yourself? Oh. At looking back now, 40 years, 45 years, whatever it is, uh -huh. what advice would you give to the Pam in high school? Um, boy. Probably be a little more calculated about my decisions. Um, I probably made a little bit of hasty decisions, thinking there there you know no consequence to them, a little non consequential. I, I live life maybe a little bit selfishly, um, so I would slow down, yeah, and and maybe make more calculated 
decisions that, uh, you know, had better results. And I don't know. Um, other than that, I've liked everything I've done so far. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't, I don't regret anything like we said. So I would just maybe live life a little bit slower. I was kind of a little fast about everything. Mm -hmm. Um, Okay. So maybe take took my time and enjoy things a, a, a little a little more, which, which I have done a little later in life. You know, the first uh -huh. from age 20 to probably 40, you yeah. just had aspirations, you right. know, like marriage, You're house, going, making going, a certain going. income. Yeah. 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 Get, get go, go, go. Yep. Exactly. But I, I did it alone a lot because I've been single longer than I've been married. Yeah. So it, yeah. it was hard. There was so it was really hard. Okay. in a lot of ways so i wouldn't be so hard on myself maybe next time <laughs> that too right What's that yeah yeah yep so the other the other question that sort of came up recently was how do you feel about getting older how do you, you it know? doesn't bother me a bit it doesn't bother me a bit however yeah. there's things that happen to the body like arthritis that uh, I am not fond of. Um, right. Apparently, I have inflammatory arthritis, okay. and I've been a very active person. I, uh -huh. I took aerobics. I, I do anything and everything I want to. Yes. And shit, I lost you. So I can't do some of those things anymore because I have inflammatory arthritis. Yes. So uh, I, I hurt <laughs> a little differently than I used to. So I don't like that part. Um, yeah, we wake up in the morning. But getting older doesn't yeah, we wake up in the morning and uh, we call it pain of the day. Pain so of the you, day. you wake up, you set up, and you go, "What's hurting today?" <laughs> yeah. And so yeah, we have yeah, some of that. There's constant assessment of what hurts. That's right. And what can be fixed? Yeah. What you shouldn't worry about? What I you know? What I need to worry That's about? Right. Yes. That's right. But the good thing about arthritis and inflammatory arthritis is the more you move, the better you are. That's right. It goes away. So. And you wake up in the morning and you're going to hurt worse because you've been stationary for a while, yep, you yep. know, for several hours. But once you're up and you're moving, I take water aerobics. That's sort of why I look a little uh, clammy because tonight was a water aerobics at TC3. Clammy. Love, love, love. <laughs> <laughs> clammy. Okay. A little clammy. And it's very humid here. <laughs> in fact, we just had a storm before you guys called me. So uh -huh. I wasn't sure if we were going to be in the middle of a storm. Mm -hmm. But uh, as long as I can find an alternate way to make myself feel better, I'm going to keep going right till that very last minute. Just keep yeah. active. Yeah. You got and beer. It. You have to drink beer. <laughs> oh, that, really sounds, <laughs> that sounds mandatory. <laughs> yeah. At, at least two, maybe even three every day. That's It's my recommendation. Wow. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> we'll get right on that, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, and I'm waiting as soon as we get off this dang interview I'm going to have one so <laughs> well it's more fun when you do the interview with a beer so I thought about it but I you know I I was <laughs> so over so I um I'm I'm waiting until it's over well that, that, that might not have been a bad decision or it might not have been a, you know it might have been fun either way yeah. either way it's been great so it doesn't matter right. yeah I just get a little tired and a little sloppy after having a couple, so I didn't want to do that. So, <laughs> well, do you have anything for us here? You have anything more for us? Any more questions? What you got? Not really. Okay. Um, no, not not that I can think of off the top of my head. Um, all right. I think it's fun. I'm glad you guys are doing this. It it is kind of neat to see all the different interviews and everybody that you talked to already. So yep. it's been we a lot still of fun. have a good group. We got a lot of people around, so it's kind of yeah. nice to um, to keep in touch with everybody. We were a pretty close class. Yep, we were. Dave, yeah. do you have any of these yeah. other pictures that you want to talk through? Uh, only what she oh. said. She, she sent it to us. <laughs> What's that? She sent, four, she sent four to us. Or she, she sent four to us earlier. Yes. So let's see here. Uh, let's see. There we go. Oh, Ooh. yay. I see Can a Spino. Me? I'm the what? base underneath Kathy Spino. Yes. 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 <laughs> now, who, who are the ones that are upside down? 
Well, I don't know, hon. You got to turn them upside down. I don't, I'm not sure. I can look in the yearbook. Ah, there's two, there's two Spinos. Yep. Yes. Um, yep, right. And it looks like a, it might be a Canis over to the, oh, now I got to look in the yearbook. Well, let me My ask phone you is dying. Let me ask right, you a different question. Because there was this yeah. picture. Was this tumbling? Yeah. Because then there was also this picture that was labeled, <laughs> that was labeled tumbling. No, tumbling is the big group right there. Okay. Gymnastics is the one with the two spinos. This was gymnastics. Gymnastics is the very last one, which is All the right. spino girls. Yes. Right. Tumbling. Okay. What was tumbling? I didn't even know we had tumbling. Tumbling was for those that didn't make gymnastics. That blast so why don't you just come over here and tumble? Okay. Because, because... Just tumble. Just tumble. Oh. <laughs> I don't even remember tumbling. Uh -oh. Probably my mother said, Pam, you gotta do something. Please get out of the house. Go tumble or something. So I don't I don't even remember tumbling. I see Doris anyway. in this picture. I see Nancy Bashir. Yes. Yep. Isn't this Diane Frost yeah, here? This, you're on Diane's shoulders? Is that Diane? That's Kathy Spino. I think that's Kathy Spino again. We were buddies too. No, that's Nancy Bashir that your shoulders are on. Are you sure? I'd Let's bet money on it. it. I'd bet money on it. All right, I'd have to get the year. And I don't know without getting the yearbook back out again. Was there a story that went along with this picture? Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Do I do you remember the story that went along with this picture? Yeah. No. Absolutely not. In no. fact, I'm surprised. I don't even recall it. The no. event. You don't you look very concerned. Yeah. Well, she's on yeah. somebody's shoulders. That's why. Well, I'd be concerned too. Yeah, they I probably know. picked me walking by. They were like, look, we need a really short person that's naive and will do anything we say. So come over here, Pam. Yeah. So that's probably why I'm on her shoulders. Yeah. And then, see, this is the Pam that I remember right here. All yes, correct. Smiles. Yes. All smiles. Yep. Well, thank you. And I'm still all smiles. And thank you, you very are. much. You are. And that's Nancy for here. That's it's Nancy. Nancy. There too. Yep. Is that Nancy? We were, yep. we were speculating on who that was. Yep. As Nancy. Yeah. Um, we pretty much covered everything. Oh, no. we No. I Non school related. What, uh, maybe I missed it. What kind of hobbies do you have? What do you do in your spare time? Well, if you have a spare time. Um, well, I am still single, um, back to being single, whatever you want to say. So I have a lot of time. It's not a hobby. Um, not a hobby. I need <laughs> to find one a little bit bigger hobby than what I'm doing. Um, I do love to golf. I golf in the summertime a lot. Okay. It's a little harder with arthritis, but I'm trying to work around that. Yeah. Um, I mow lawn. I like to mow lawn. I will really actually go up to my daughter's and her husband's house and mow lawn. They live on Lake Road across from what would have been hole number five at the golf course. So they have oh. some lawn up there. I love mowing lawn. Um, spend time with my daughter and her family. And I take her mom. You know, yep. mom's in the front of me. Yeah. Um, hang with friends a little bit. I have a, a group of girls that will get together. We don't mind having dinner together or playing cards or something like that. But I actually kind of spend time with myself it sounds a little sad but when you're not married and everybody else is you'd kind of make your own time look for things to do yep. yeah yeah um, i work i work a lot i like working uh, you know, are, are you retired from cornell correct yes yeah to and work then, for kayla remember the corner yeah, brew yeah. corner brew yeah <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Enjoy. I can see why they would drum up lots of business. Yeah. So you're working mostly at the yeah. coffee shop these days, right? Yeah. Okay. That's funny. Sorry. We're just... going to be bleeping out a lot of shit. No, here. we're not. No, we're not. We're fine. This is totally fine. Again, we're All 60, right. one ish. All right. We're good. We're okay. We are. We're okay. We are. So, real quick, I'm... you were, I remember you worked with my, with my brother in law, Cal, Cal Keach at Cornell. Where? Yeah, that's right. Because he was there at Patsy, and I was just as surprised then that you guys were related. Yeah. Um, yes, I worked at the grounds department at Cornell. That was my first job there, and I, I love Cal. Um, and yes, I worked at grounds for about two and a half years before I went to Capital Projects, which is where I retired from. Okay. I managed all their construction projects, budgets, and all that kind of stuff. So, 
Man, he, um, had some, he had some crazy stories about that place. Woo! Yeah, ground, grounds was fun. Grounds was fun. She raised her. Eyebrow. I mean, they're they're labor, <laughs> they're they're workers. They're you know, yeah. and they it's, it's a beautiful campus. They have a lot to yeah. be responsible for, and it mm -hmm. uh, it was a lot of work actually. Was that the start? Yeah, good old cap. Path? Was that the start of your passion for lawn mowing? I uh, know. <laughs> no, question. I just, I, it is a good question. I just like landscaping. I like lawn mowing, flowers, landscaping. Yep. I, I would actually work for a landscaper if I had enough skill. Um, well, really, you do. I love landscaping. I mean, snip, snip. I like it, but I don't. I, just because you like it doesn't mean you really know what you're doing, though. You know, I, I don't know if somebody would hire me to do something, but um, I, I do like you. putting plants and, and landscaping and stuff together. It's it's just beautiful to me. Yep. So I'd hire you. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Thank you. Well, yeah. If you've got the equipment, I'll run it. Uh, amen. <laughs> <laughs> you got the equipment? I'll run it. <laughs> oh, shit. This is, this is the best ever. It is. Well, good. Well, I wanted to be a proper but appropriate but fun. No. See, that's the, for you, you. Have to the, you have to have the balance, right balance for this type of thing. You do. Yeah. You do. Yeah. And I, I don't always have that right well, balance. But you, know, you know, after all, after all these interviews, you kind of figure out, you know, again, we're 40 years past all this kind of stuff. And Obviously, we don't want to hear all the salacious details of our lives and blah, blah, blah. But at some point, no. you got to have fun with it. You got to be a little bit of loosey goosey with it because we're human. It is what it is. What it is. We are who we are, you know, and That's right. you know, not to take it so seriously. Speak for yourself, Dave. That's right. And <laughs> <laughs> I want to know. And I like that. About, I like that about everybody is that we're all yeah. we're all on the same boat. You know, we're yeah. all we're all on the same journey mm -hmm. and we are all the same. Yeah. yeah, mostly. Mostly. Yep. Indeed. But thank you for choosing me. I don't oh, know why no. or how you guys chose me. That was a no-brainer. No, no, no. That, was. We're just running our finger across the yearbook and going, oh, you know, we could, we could talk to. <laughs> yeah. She was always fun. To, she was always had a great smile in school. Let's talk to Pam. She was always enjoyable. Well, was thank, always you. Enjoyable. So, thank you. Thank you. Make sure. Thank you. Well, it's been awesome. Dear, still thank you so much. This has yes. been a complete Yes, pleasure. you're welcome. I hope to see you guys soon, though. I mean, without reunions or funerals, what, when are you going to come yeah. back? I mean, what? Yeah. Right. True. Right? It is a yeah. thing, right? So we probably... Yeah. Is. We're, at that, we're at that age where either people are passing or... Yes, no. We get it. We're... The thing here, I tell Dave, we're at the beginning of the third period of the hockey game. We are. Yep. Yeah. We are. Yeah. And we just need to make the best of it. Correct. So, Correct. Th this is supposed to be the fun part of our lives. That's what I they agree. keep telling me. I agree. Yeah. No. I'm trying. I am too. I, I am most too. Of it. We, we've, we've enjoyed this. We couldn't wait to get you on here. Thank you for being patient with us and working with Dave. You got all the connections You're right. right. You're a very patient gal. We appreciate it. Uh, you worked hard for this, and it worked. And it worked. And it, it did worked. work. It worked. Yeah. I'm standing next to my microwave on my cell phone, but it worked <laughs> because it because I'm running out of battery. So I'm plugged in over here. See, you're good. You're doing but, good. You're doing you good. did a fine job. That's why I'm in. I thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. But thank you very much for playing along tonight. And I've enjoyed. Yes, you're welcome. It was so nice. You too.
Grooming. 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 Somewhere there's a microphone button. Can you hear us? Yeah, I like her already. <laughs> no, she's she's a lot of fun. <laughs> no, I'm not a big Bruce Springsteen fan. Uh huh. Are you? Uh, I can take it or leave it. I mean, I mean, am I, the, am I the only one? And I might be the only one that thinks he sounds like he's trying to take a dump when he's singing. Like he's always straining. He's just dancing in. He thinks that. Huh? Huh? He, that. he sounds like he's going, eh, a lot. That's what it sounds like to me. It's like he's trying to pick um, oh, wait. I have one of those things. Yeah. That yeah. I have a donut y thing. A donut y thing? Are you doing only? Know. Are you doing only only fans now? I had yes. <laughs> she's doing only. I okay, had a donut so, for breakfast. No, I didn't. That's not sure. No. <laughs> All right. So wait. This this thing holds holds it. Yeah. Yeah. But I I don't want it to be a bad picture. I don't want it to look like I'm doing this though. You know. Right. That, right. Would, that would be com comedically <laughs> funny and great. Well, it is. That's I great. Like it. That's perfect. This that's perfect.